Hello everyone and welcome to Tasso Show. If you ever wondered how you can get some images or some music from RPG Maker games that are encrypted, there is actually a way to decrypt some of them. And that's what I'm gonna have as a tutorial today for you. So first of all to bring a little bit of context here, the first time that I ever did this was just for one case scenario where I was really 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 looking into some music that I really loved in Space Pilgrim Academy Year One and I realized that all the files, the music files were in a RPG MVO format and being <laughs> very attentive into these particular like file names I found out that you can actually decrypt them and get OGG or MP3 or whatever version of the uh, music format it was and I did that because I couldn't find the music anywhere I couldn't find the names of the music neither can could I find the music on the web by itself and the funny thing is that I think what they use is a free sound of things that are on the web uh, openly available but since I couldn't find the name of them I couldn't really see what, what, what was what so that is why I did that I personally do not necessarily recommend you to do that for absolutely everything but it's something that is available and just wanted to share with you how to do it so now let's go to how to do this so first of all here if you follow the rules from that particular uh, website so pageco.org slash tool slash mv decryptor go to the tab n and decrypt and you see that what they're saying is very straightforward is that you have first to get a code there is a disk uh, encryption or a decryption code that can be found under the game directory www.datasystem.json and once you get that decryption code uh, well that uh, key you can actually decrypt or encrypt images and music with rpgm something something so one thing that I wanted to now share is the part that is named how to use. So you will see that sometimes, unfortunately, you cannot always automatically detect the key. So if it doesn't work, you will see that there is other steps that you can do. We'll see if we'll need it right now. But for the moment, let's get started and actually let's try to do this on Space Pilgrim Year 2. So now, first of all, let's try to find that system.json file. So in order to do so, let's go to Steam. As you know on Steam, on the interface of Steam, you have all your games and software into your library. And here you will see that there's always that gear. So if you go to that gear, manage, you can go to prop uh, to manage and here you will have something named browse local files so let's go there now our goal on browse local file is to find the system.json so remember it was on www data so let's go to www data and on data you can see there's a lot of json file and the one that we want is the one named system.json so before we even go through that let me show you like the audio section so that's where you can see the audio section with all the music and all that and you can see that they are RPG MVO so you cannot do anything with this so let's go back what I'm gonna do here is in order to go faster because I will need to select like the, the files I will right click here so I can get the full hyperlink of my uh, of the place where the game is I'm gonna copy paste this I'm gonna close this now 
And when I choose file here, I'm going to basically paste it here. Now I just need to find the file by itself. System.json. Open and try to detect the key. And the key was found on this one. So now I can encrypt and decrypt any file that comes from that game. So when I go to choose file now on the encrypt decrypt, I can go to the audio here, BGM, and I can actually select all of them. For example, here, open, decrypt, and they're all going to show on the right side here. So now let's say I want to save all of them. I can save all of them in a zip file. So that's what I'm going to do right now which will generate a zip file eventually. All right. It's funny, it's actually one of the biggest <laughs> amount of of data from the game because I think the game is like 700 megabytes, 800 megabytes, something like that. Properties, let's see on the properties. 778 megabytes. So it's nearly half of the size of the game <laughs> is the music, very interesting. But now what I can do is that thanks to that, I can actually just go ahead and listen to some of the music. Um, what I'm going to do before doing this is I'm going to do just one, like that 8-bit VGM prologue. So I'm going to save this one by itself and I'm going to open it up. And here we go, we have the music of the galaxy, what, what is the, the show that we were talking about, the cartoon show, Galaxy Traveler, I think. And there you have it, hopefully it helps you to actually get some of those files from time to time if you really cannot find them anywhere online and that you really want them. Once again, please respect the rights of the owners and all those kind of thing. I know that <laughs> it's it's a weird thing for me to do a tutorial about, but I think that it was an interesting thing to know. And so there it is. I think that one thing I wanted to add before I'm finishing this particular video is sometimes the system.json may not work, like the detection. If this happens, you will have to do a quick change into your file. I don't remember how we do that for. And I was hoping that was written somewhere else. But I think that if it doesn't work, this would give you some instruction after you detect and that it cannot find the right item. It will send you some instruction. But you know what? Maybe we can do it thanks to just going to, let's say, package.json and to detect. All right, perfect. And here you see it say encry encryption key not found. And in this case, we say that if you go to the www.rpgcore.js, you can save a certain code that we put on, we put on that paste bin here. So let's look at that paste bin super quickly. And you see here what matters to you is that whole code that you'll have to put at the end. So not that when you're doing that, the game is not playable anymore. So that's why you have to save that and then unsave it later on. I guess we can do it together just to prove how it works. So let's do it. So let's look for the GS core now. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to go back to the local files. GS. Is that RPG core or GS core? I forgot. RPG core. All right, 
So now we're going to go to the rpdcar.js. You can open it with whatever software you have. You can edit it <laughs> with a simple notepad. The goal is just that at the whole hand here, you're going to include this. All right, I saved it. Now, if I launch the game, so play. It sends a little window file. And on that window file, you see that there's a code here. D for one D something something, which is the same than what we found here. All right, so now you know. And if you want to make sure that the game is working again, I'll show you super quickly. You go to edit the RPG core file. You find back the part that you added. You just save back with the code removed. And now if I launch the game again, Voila! So you see that music, for example, that title screen music is a music that was like, wow, I like it, but I don't know where to find it, and I don't know how to get it. So that's why I did this kind of thing, and I hope that um, it's not a problem, because it's only for my personal use. So there it is! Thank you so much, and I'm leaving you on that music, that very eerie music. Thank you for watching Tasso Show. Do not hesitate to subscribe or follow me and talk to you soon. Bye bye. And one more thing, I wanted to say thank you so much to PageCo in order to create that web browser experience that allow us to encrypt or decrypt a RPG Maker MV uh, file system. I really appreciate all the work that you did in, on this and obviously big thank you. I will add that into my description uh, so like that everybody can access that uh, page. And please go thank Pechko for doing this. Hopefully I say that properly. All right. Thank you, everybody. And bye-bye.